Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. Now, I'm a little sick, you guys are going to get used to it. I'm not going to be like, oh, you poor me, I'm sick, but I'm still making videos, I don't have to do this. I got like, eight things ready, but today, I'm going to talk about what made the GameCube great. GameCube, honestly, probably my second favorite game console, next to the Xbox 360 for sure. Because the Xbox 360 ran oblivion, but the GameCube was great. Because I feel like it just, it had the library of games that showed what could make console gaming great. It had some multiplayer type shooters on it, right? Big deal. It had the greatest Super Smash Bros. Brawl, the Super Smash Bros. game, the Pikmin games, some epic Zelda games, and it had Wind Waker. Honestly, Wind Waker probably is a defining Zelda game. I mean, it, but the GameCube... Not only had Wind Waker, um, it had Ocarina of Time, another defining Zelda game, all the way up to Twilight Princess, which honestly, in my opinion, I think Twilight Princess is the best 3D Zelda game. Uh, not my favorite, but I think overall it's the best. So the game gave it a lot of great games. For me personally, it's great because it's where I started gaming seriously. Like, before... I really got into the GameCube. We had the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, and a Nintendo 64. I think a PlayStation and Xbox. And it's like, I could play all those games, and I played a lot of Halo. But, I mean, the GameCube controller, I knew like the back of my hand, do all sorts of stuff, right? The Zelda games, uh, Super Smash Bros. And like, the GameCube was just the console that I played on a lot. And it was great. I love that system. And it's just the collection of games that made it great. Yeah, it didn't have the most powerful thing. And it didn't have, like, the best controller design. Let's be real here. The controller design was kind of meh for the GameCube, in my opinion. The controller was tiny. But it, even though it was, like, I guess a flop, per se, it still held on and it still created great games. Right? Luigi's Mansion, amazing game. Mario Sunshine, amazing game. Like, a lot of great Nintendo games still came out on this system, right? The way I look at it is it's kind of like the Wii U of its time. You had the Wii U, which was honestly a pretty bad console, but it paved the way for this Nintendo Switch. And the Wii U had some great games on it. It had Mario Maker on it and Smash and the Wii U Smash Bros, right? Just like the GameCube, not the best system in the world compared to what the N64 did at the time. Or later on, the Wii. I mean, the Wii is probably one of the best Nintendo consoles next to the Switch, right? But the Wii still played the GameCube games because we all know that we have our GameCube games. We have fun with those games and we had to keep them. So that's what I think made the GameCube great was it was not dead on arrival, not like the Wii U would be or the anything, but it created, it still created for those who bought it, amazing gaming experiences. And I think that's some of the greatest things in gaming is like when something fails epically and can still get back up and is still fighting, right? And I think that's the way I like it. I think that's, that's why the GameCube was great. It's because it did that. Also, it had one of my first games I got serious on, which is Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Best game in the whole world. But for that, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Let me know what you thought of the GameCube in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.